YouTube, this is Mouse Nose, and I am here to tell you about my Briar Show Team competition. It is show jumping, as you can see, I have set these up. Now you see, I have a bunch of fancy jumps that are all, I don't know, they're all a bunch of Briar pieces I put together, but you can use anything, like, you can use Dixie Cups and uh, pencils for all I care, or if you're using stable mates in your competition video, you can use like little uh, cardboard boxes or I don't know, anything you can use. Um, all that matters is the jump's heights. I'd mainly suggest using a traditional for this, actually. Oh, I can't talk today. Okay, I'd suggest using a traditional briar horse for this, actually, since it's show jumping and the heights are the only thing that matters, like heights and lengths. Um, there's my course, and that's like the view of it. Here's like a whole bird's eye view. Now you do not have to have all the fancy stuff. I just did that because I was bored and I needed something to do. All that matters is the heights and the lengths, like I said before. So we're going to measure each of the jumps. Here is a simple triple jump with only one stride in between. I will give an example of that later with my briar horse. Okay, the height of each jump is from the ground maybe two and a half inches about. Yeah, I'd say two and a half inches. This one is, yeah, another two and a half inches. Okay, so basically the whole triple thing is two and a half inches. Each jump is two and a half inches. This one that goes in the middle, you see it in the middle, um, is about four and a half inches high. And get that there. Three inches long. So four and a half high, three inches long. This one over here, which is a piece of crap because as like the second I took it out of the box, everything fell apart. But I'm very happy I have it. Anyway. Okay, it's an axer. So the jump in front of it is four and a half inches tall. Okay, jump in front of it four and a half inches tall. Or one of the jumps is four and a half inches tall, okay? The other jump here is just a little bit higher. I'd make it five inches. So that, and then it will be about two inches apart. So four and a half inches, five inches, two inches apart. Good, we have that down. Uh, moving on to this jump. <sighs> Poop. Okay, well, we're just gonna measure it like this. Four inches in height. Four inches in height. Four inches in height, okay? <laughs> This jump that I made all fancy with the cougars and the dog house and the dog. Um, it's kind of narrow, but that's only because I didn't have any room. You can make it like, you know, as wide as you want it to be or whatever. Uh, let's see. It's about six inches tall. Six inches tall. And about two and a half inches wide. So six inches tall, two and a half inches wide. Now between the triple jump, there is about 12 inches of space between each triple jump. Maybe 11 inches, I don't know. So that's what matters. Let me get this jump up first. Stay. So there's the course. I'll get a better view of it. Do you see the course? Good, there we go. Okay, that 
was the course. Now we're gonna take out the horse. Do jump the course, okay. I made these myself out of the deer skin anyway. Okay, so come on, Wapasha. It is Wapasha. He's so beautiful. Okay. Now for the course. You saw I want the course done. Let me put my camera somewhere. Okay, so you see him? Wapasha will start right there. That's where Wapasha's going to start. And what he's going to do is he's going to canter the course. He's going to canter over the axer. So he goes over the axer. Then, okay, let's see. He goes over the axer. So he's over the axer, good. Good for you. And then he makes that whole turn. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter how many strides you have in between. It just, as long as you make it there. And then he goes over that one hunter fence. I don't know what it's called, but it's the brown one. And then he makes his turn. And he jumps over that one, the cross country fence. Okay. And then what we want him to do is after the cross country fence, he comes to the triple fence. Goes over the triple, and he turns and jumps over the fancy fence with all the cougars and everything. So here is that entire thing performed. That's the entire thing performed. Now, you will be judged on how well you make it look. I'm not sure if it's cap if like people are capable of making this into a picture thing, but you can do that if you want. It's just gonna take a longer time. I just want to see how good the shots are taken, how good you can make your horse move, and whether or not a fence gets knocked down in the process. Now, if a fence gets knocked down by the briar, then you will be marked down for it. But if it gets knocked down by like your shirt or something, then it doesn't really matter. Just be careful because that, you know, would ruin the quality of the video and how realistic and good it is. And try to hide your hand as much as possible. Like, people, we should avoid the whole grabbing onto this and being all like that. Usually, it's safe for me to grab onto the tail, and the horse is okay. You just have to be careful how hard you grab onto it, where you grab, how much you're handling it, because it might break off depending on the horse. But, there's the course. You got your measurements, and that is all. Any questions, just comment on the video.